Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words, become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a very dark and fast way to drop bad habits. There was this one day when I was supposed to go out, but it began raining. It was a Friday night, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? I have nothing to do right now, and I have this roommate of mine who's playing video games. I don't like video games, but what else am I going to do? So I was like, hey, bro, what are you playing? And he's like, NBA 2K, you want to play? And you could tell that this guy wanted some companionship because he was just playing by himself. I was like, is the game uh, difficult to learn? And he's like, no, man, it's pretty easy. Uh, here, I'll teach you. So he teaches me real quick. And I feel as though I have the grasp. And I say, all right, man, let's get a game going. So we're over here playing, right? And he's over here sitting very chill like this, just playing the game. And I'm sitting on a couch and I'm pretty focused because if I'm going to play, allow me to win. So I'm playing and I'm doing pretty good for a beginner. And uh, he says, Whoa, man, you're actually pretty good. You sure you've never played this game before? I was like, I'm certain, bro. And him giving me a compliment like that made me feel really good. And it made me focus even more on the game. It, it got to a point where I was up. I had 15 points and he only had a measly 10 points. I was definitely going to win, right? But by the time I hit that 15 point mark, this guy goes from sitting like this to sitting up like this. And I should have sensed doom when that happened. Because what happened for the next uh, couple of minutes was that I stayed at 15 points and he now had 15 points. He eventually had 25 points while I had 15 points. He eventually had 45 points when I had 15 points. He eventually had 65 points while I had 17 points. And it got to a point where I was getting furious. Because here's the thing, man. He looked too calm to me. It's like, if you're going to be beating me by over 50 points, I want you engaged. I want you playing the uh, controller like this, right? Oh man, no, Armani is about to catch up, you know? It's something like that. But instead, he's just playing it like this in a very calm way. And I could have sworn I even saw him yawn once. I'm thinking, if you're gonna be kicking my ass, man, you can't be looking like that. Hey, what's going on with you, man? And I started yelling at him. I was like, are you cheating? Uh, how is it that all of your shots are going in and my basic layups aren't going in? This is bullshit, man. And he gets startled because he thought we were just playing a friendly game. And he's like, no, nah, man, I didn't cheat. Um, I'm just playing. And seeing his reaction like that, I could sense innocence in his eyes. I looked at this fool and I realized that he was not to blame. He was just having a fun time. You know who was to blame? The damn engineers of this game. What kind of engineers allow a friendly guy like me to get blown out by 50 points. These engineers need to do their job better and make these games more competitive. Where are these engineers? Let me talk to them. But then I realized something else. These engineers, they just follow orders. Uh, they're not the guys making the decisions. I had so much anger, I needed to target it on someone, right? So eventually I end up back to the founder of NBA 2K. Who created this video game? L let me talk to this guy real quick. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. But then I was like, no, 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 he's not to blame either. Uh, I had all my rage. I kept going back and back and back until eventually I end up at Benjamin Franklin. If this bastard didn't discover electricity, then I wouldn't be in this predicament right now. You see? And that game was so traumatizing for me where I was putting in all that effort and this guy was just obliterating me with 
while yawning that I never played a video game after that again. Not once. I get invites every now and then, and hey bro, you wanna play 2K? You wanna play uh, Call of Duty? Uh, these arcade games and such? Nah, not my thing. Now someone may say, oh come on bro, you're being a baby. You could play uh, games if you want. I'll teach you how, but I just don't want to do it. To me, I was traumatized by that moment. Now, can I gradually overcome that fear? Yeah, but I don't see the need to. There's another group of people that are like, wait, Armani, you haven't played video games in how long? Five years? Dude, my girlfriend would want me to be more like you because she has to drag me away from my video games. Armani, you must have a lot of willpower. Once again, no willpower is needed. This, this, uh, not playing video games, it's born from trauma. I know guys that stopped smoking hookah permanently because the doctors said that there was now tar in their blood. I know guys that stopped, uh, uh, stopped uh, drinking alcohol completely because they got a DUI and their mugshot was posted in front of a magazine. I know guys that stopped watching porn forever because they just couldn't get it up anymore. And I know a certain person that stopped playing video games forever, ever since he got his ass kicked that day. This is one of the dark ways to overcome a bad habit and overcome it fast. Rather than try to bury trauma, use it in order to distance yourself from a habit that you consider bad, and you won't need willpower to drop this bad habit. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.